Good morning. It looks like a beautiful day. My room is a huge mess because I've just removed my old headboard, pulled my bed forward because today I am putting my new headboard, which I bought in the sale of the Paris Ritz furniture, into this spot and I have to finish my fabric walls because tomorrow we will be having an Yves Delong photo shoot in here. So excited. What is it, Stephanie? It is the things that have been sent for this weekend's photo shoot here. But I don't think I want to show them until we do the photo shoot. I Ooh. think that will be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so pretty! Why are French Dare Weistels baffling and distracting? I have come to buy staples. I can't go home with a rabbit. Done. It's all happening in my bedroom today. Whoa, don't tell my wife. I bought this headboard a couple of months ago and I've been waiting for so long to put it up. This is a big moment for me. So these are all of the beautiful things that Yves Delong have sent and now I'm trying to decide where the best place is for each one. Well, clearly the pink is going to be for this bedroom. Percy is struggling to finish the electrics in my bedroom but we're having a nightmare. Well I say we, that was more the royal we. I'm having a separate nightmare on the other side of the room removing old staples and trying to get the walls straight. Steph, what are you doing? Well, now that I have my new bed, I am going to finish the fabric walls finally. So, I can quickly, quickly, I can quickly do this. I'll be doing this for a couple of days, I think. But I at least want to get this wall ready for the photo shoot of the new linen. Mummy has <laughs> finally given up on waiting for me to do anything with the cherries. Rightly so, because I'm completely stuck doing the walls in my bedroom. Yes. And I think she's come up with a brilliant plan, which is jam is good, but cherries and alcohol are better. Yes. But I don't think I can save Lily cherries to do anything. And tasty. why is that, Mummy? The birds will like them. I'll put them out. They op split open now, you see. I think what we We've have We've wasted here, all that. We have and there is more at the back. A bit of a sulk on our hands. In which case the safest place to be is not in the kitchen, I think. I'm just going to yes, back leave me alone. out of here. Quiet. Yes. I shall suffer on my own. It is awful to be right all the time. So this is the current state of my bedroom that is going to have a photo shoot in it this afternoon. But I'm not going to panic, just going to steadily keep on going. The great news is that on this side, the electricity is fixed. The iced coffee is upstairs. I know, but why didn't you come and do it upstairs? Because Where it'll be convivial and fun. It's so boring in my bedroom right now doing the <laughs> fabric walls. Oh fine, so I'll just put that iced coffee upstairs. Oui, mama? Right. <coughs> Have you put the sugar in it? Yep. Yeah. Yum, mummy, this is gonna be amazing. The final turn of the screw. Percy, you are a king amongst men. What are you doing now, Steph? Now I am fixing a couple of little areas that have little creases in. And then, the really exciting part, I'm going to be putting the very, very bright pink ribbon up. I've just finished the first wall. Wow. Yeah. That looks very cool. Oh, look at that. Hey, Percy. What do you think? Well, I think it makes a statement. I like it. I'm just finishing the ironing of the bedding. I find it much easier to do it straight onto the bed. Yeah, I like oh, the new so 
So we've started doing the Yves Delong photo shoot. Michael's in full photographer mode. Usually seen doing this at Grand Prix. <laughs> this has got to be easier to catch the bed, hey? I don't know. It's not moving quite as fast. Yeah, it's a little zone. It's very pretty. So I'm leaving Michael to do what he does best. And I'm just organising the drinks area. We finished our first day of photo shoots and I can't quite believe my luck that I get to go to sleep in this incredibly soft bed linen. Good night everyone. I think I'm not going to be getting up very early tomorrow.